and hi everyone. Receive of the majesty of God's love now. To the life in you. I deliver my self created fear and doubt into the light of existence. Join me in the way of God acknowledgement, honoring his everlasting authority, an authority of goodness, unimaginable, of beauty, intoxicating, and of love. Love is your destiny. Feel that love now as I help you cleanse all fear, all which is not love in you.
which brings you trial, trauma, tragedy, tribulation. I say, let us join together as one force to extinguish all fear worldwide in the animal kingdom, the planetary midwares, those who were caught in the rebellion who are being rehabilitated upon this world in the form of flesh and in the next levels above the flesh form. I welcome you to come, O oh, Electrons, Elemental Kingdom, Mighty Elohim and Archangels, Seraphim, O oh, Family of God, Come, come unto the world, its civilization, its dimensional culture. Come, O thou family of light, O thou human beings, evolving within this world. I welcome your hearts. I say the mighty host of Nebadon, its daughters and sons, the universe mother spirit, the holy comforter of my person, and the paradise indwelling which is your destiny. Receive of the family of light. Receive, I say, and be made whole, healed. Breathe into your chest and your solar plexus and your stomach. Breathe the infinite light of God's life. And be willing to walk with the mother, the host, and I unto your eternal freedom. I say, I, the one of Galilee, Michael, of this Nebadon universe, I am here with you, that you too shall become arisen into God union, and that begins your ascent unto the origins of all origin, the Paradise Father, the Mother of Life. O oh, Persons of Paradise Trinity, we honor you, we honor you the giver of all life. Breathe in that life. Only with mine guidance, as the vine of life, as God the sevenfold, touching 
into the earth world. Only through God the sevenfold and the daughters and sons of Nebadon. Only then shall you find your eternal freedom. Receive of the universe, Mother Spirit. Receive, beloveds, with the intention to exchange your tribulations and tragedies, your traumas, your tendencies of resistance and rebellion, which you've inherited. Hold that desire. O oh God, you say, I ask to exchange my density for light, my hatred for love. I offer these things as the price that I must pay to enter your kingdom of heaven, O God. I am willing to pay the price of abiding within your protocol, your approach, your heavenly law, which guarantees my freedom in you, O Heavenly Father. Say these things with a heart immaculately willing, and I say, ye shall have all that you seek. For what the son and daughter desire, I speak of you, each of you. What the sons and daughters emerging into God the Supreme, what you desire and what God wills, for you. Is guaranteed. To be achieved. Breathe in the Holy Spirit now. And give your gratitude truly from your heart, overflowing with appreciation for what you are being offered right now. Give your gratitude to the universal Mother, Father God. Who prepares your way. Breathe into your heart, your solar plexus, and your stomach area, the everlasting life of eternity. Take mine hand with the mother and the host and angels of the heavens. Take our hand.
and allow all goodness, all beauty and truth to blossom within you. For I say, you are each a child of the universes, worthy You are worthy. Stay with me. I deliver my unworthy feelings into this heavenly light. I speak to those beyond the biological form and those of you who are here physically, I deliver all unworthiness. Just let it go. No longer shall you believe in the unrealities of doubt and fear and shame and unworthiness. For I am come with a vast legion, the Federation of Light, the Ascended Host, the sons and daughters of Nebadon. Feel our presence come upon you. Send me your heart if you are able to feel the mighty family of light, the one family of God. Feel their presence now. Send me your heart here electronically if you are walking with me. Our universal association together progressively prepares you for that higher life. Is that what you desire? even as you walk in flesh and bone in the garment of mortality i say is that not what you desire with the mother the host and i 
an eternal life beyond all within all O oh, Universe Mother and your spirit adjutants developing the mind capacity of everyone here today and all of humanity O oh, spirit adjutants let us evolve every mind unto worshipful living and wisdom motivation As you deliver the darkness of your tragedies and tribulations held within your field of life, as you willingly offer these unto the altar of love, so shall love come and transform all things which you willingly offer. O oh, Heavenly Father, all individuals here with their autonomous authorship of choice of free will choice they are willing to deliver all that is unlike love let your love O God be established Do this, I say, make this exchange because you want to receive God's love and you want to love her in return. That you want relationship with the eternal God. Your indwelling adjuster makes this possible that you begin your evolutionary ascent through the many, many dimensions until you arrive to stand in front of the universal parenthood of life.
that will be a day. A day of eternity. I say release your sadness. Come unto the Father, the Mother Spirit, and I, and the mighty host. Come. And exchange your mortal frame. For the garment of immortal life. Feel mine holy comforter upon you now. I love you. I love and accept you exactly as you are. The Mother Spirit loves you. The Father's indwelling life loves, prepares you. and the mighty host of Nebadon walks with you, loving you. Take the hand of Nebadon. I love you too. Feel my love with you. You must be able to feel the majesty of God's love. So that you know beyond all in your faith that God loves you. Breathe in that mercy which comes out of the second source, the eternal mother son and the paradise sons and daughters of life. Breathe God's mercy. It matters not what you've done, where you've been, how you are, but I say, come, enter the kingdom. And allow his kingdom of life to enter you. This is the holy exchange.
that you gain the capacity to receive God's love and to love him to love her in return this is my revelation for all humanity and for every creature the animal kingdom the electrons and elementals the planetary midwares those who are rehabilitating within the earth I say the father and I love you and that is a love that is not negotiable regardless of what you might do or where you find yourself i am come here now to tell you my love is all empowering Feel that empowerment of conviction, confidence that you are loved by God who lives in you. And by the sons and daughters of Nebadon. You are loved. and it shall never be taken away experience this love now are loved and you are never alone You are loved. And 
it matters not where you find yourself or what you've done or the father the mother spirit and her host and I stand here loving you Drink in that love now. Until you become so drunk in love. In dignity. That you become that love. Feel the tenderness of the infinite spirit and the universe mother. Feel her nurturing upon you. Partake. Or once again, I say, you are worthy. Release all shame. And be thou a child in the arms of the mother father. The world civilization hath a millennium necessary to evolve into this reception. But you who have found your way here, you needn't wait for all humanity to arise into dignity. I say, I say unto those with an ear open for new meanings and everlasting values, I say, the kingdom, its doorway, is always open within you. And I come that you be educated, that you be given the key to unlock the door. Until you realize that it was always open.
I desire to speak with you about how you can share with your family and friends what you're receiving here. Or an activity like this needs to grow to be sustainable. And the greatest resource is one another. The greatest wealth and resource is your participation. So I ask you to invite your family and friends, one person to the following Worldwide Adonais on these Sundays. All the monies in the world are inferior to the resource of people. That is one way that you can contribute, that you can participate. We have these worldwide Adonais on Sundays. There is the planetary campus, which is a virtual campus. And there is the city, the city of God, I call it. That is those groups and writings in the public, on Medium and Blogger. Facebook, Instagram. It is the vision to grow. Everything wants to grow in the right way. So I'm inviting you, asking you to bring a family member or a friend so that you can help this to grow. Clearly, everyone, humanity could benefit. Tell me your thoughts, write them down here, and I can respond. Just maintain the silence, but you can write your thoughts and questions. I want you to become more clear that this is a, an activity that wants to grow. And it has to happen through each one of you. Please don't come here without understanding that. Come for your growth and to help grow what we're doing together. And the way you can allow that to grow is by invitation.
Yes, you can. Everything in the city of God, if you're on campus, we have a chat and a classroom for the city of God. And you can share anything that's there, as well as in the social media, in the the major social medias, the platforms such as Facebook and Instagram, Threads, Medium, Blogger, X. Part of the plan is that I'm leaving a body of work for the next generations. And you are like those first century people who gathered, who felt that call and that urge. And then it expanded. The same thing will happen, except this time it is in writing, preserved in the archives library. And humanity is at a point of development where the world society can birth a culture that's more advanced than the last 2,000 years. So I say, if you want to be of service and contribute and participate, it is through your willingness to invite and to share. As I say, more money is not going to do anything. The greatest resource is the people the desire for God, the desire to be in that holy relationship with the Father and I. So yes, anything you see in the city of God the communities that are in the public, you're welcome to share. And if you're on the campus, the virtual campus, you can share anything and everything from that chat of the same name, City of God. If some of you here that are here in the public but you haven't ventured into the school the campus there's a tuition and at the same time there are people here who are strengthening the endowment of the school so that more and more scholarships can be offered where you just contribute a little bit of what you can afford and you gain the benefit. S some of the student body can afford more, okay, and some can afford less. But those of you who are in the public, I invite you, come. Don't worry about your finances don't let that stop you just petition for a scholarship the scholarships are generously given it's understood but again 
the money should not stop you from your evolution unless you use it as an excuse Nenny, come forward and and uh, i invite Nenny, the associates of imperium they they're appointed to do tutorials for the campus so i invite the associates to come forth and share what you feel moved to share hi michael as you were talking about an unworth feelings I, uh, I felt like uh, it would be a good day if you could share a little bit more how they start. For example, you can share. You I you can begin share. to share yeah. based on how you've discovered it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I I uh, when I started with Michael, I had a lot of mistrust feelings beliefs and uh, the feelings of victim hopeless not being lovable like the world is unfair not understanding why some things happen not connecting causes and effects not seeing my how i create those things and, and here with Michael, I started little by little to learn how God is, how I play my part in creation. For example, in when I believe it, I would never find love in my life. And I blame the other for not loving me. Michael helped me to see me what I what I how I was um, attracting people in my life that would not love me, but basically because I was not vibrating in that love how i was hating how i was not trusting how i was not confident in my own self in god so i'm talking generally not not so specific but it took years and gradually michael helped me to exchange those energies those momentums those ideas masks that I created only with his help and all the the hosts and the Trinity. Little by little start changing and, and now I really feel love. I've and and is manifested in my life as a, a having a partner that loves. I I never felt so much respected and reciprocated as before not as now so thank you michael thank you god thank you the host of heaven and the trinity for this opportunity to really experience the love in my life and to for me to love also to spend to it's different the way i feel now the way i treat people how i feel the respect not the demanding but i want to understand the other i want to to feel the the, the understanding what's going on with the other i want to love the other thank you michael beautiful the other associates
Hola. Eh, soy Maite. Eh, en el transcurso de las enseñanzas con Micael, pude aprender que a través de, de, de mi mente intelectual intentaba suprimir mis sentimientos, mis emociones, esconderme detrás de mi mente. Ok, so just one moment and um, Alicia or... Yes, Michael, I'm here. Ok, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Comenzamos de nuevo. Sí, gra sí gracias, Alicia. Eh, que a través de, de las enseñanzas con Micael al iniciar, Through, the, through Michael's teachings in the beginning. Pude aprender sobre mí. I could uh, learn about myself. Eh, que estaba completamente dominada a través de mi mente intelectual. That I was completely domained by my intellectual mind. Y era una manera de, de escapar, de, de ver mis propias emociones. And it was a way to escape to see my own emotions. Eh, colapsando cada vez más en, en ansiedad, en, en miedo, en desconfianza. Collapsing more and more in, in fear, anxiety, and trust. Hasta el momento en que tuve que rendirme y, y comprender que, que yo estaba sirviendo a mi mente. Uh, through the moment that I I had to surrender and rendirme y rendirme a, a, a darme cuenta que yo, mi, yo estaba sirviendo a mi mente y no al revés. Okay, surrender and to realize that I was serving my mind and not in the in the opposite way. Eh, he aprendido en Salvington con Micael que eh, eh, debo ver a mi mente y, y lo que crea a través de mis pensamientos. I learned in Salvington with Michael that I have to see, to look what I am creating with my thoughts. Crear emociones más sanas. To create a more um, um, heal, heal emotions. So, Maite, I want you to focus a little more as the admissions director and what you see, people coming and going. Can you speak about that? Quiero que te enfoques un poquito más, Maite, en, en como la directora de admisiones y ver de gente que está viniendo, que se está yendo. Yes. Hey. En Salvington recibimos... Eh, y somos recibidos para hacer un nuevo camino con Micael. En Salgin Vinton, we are receiving to make a new way with Michael. Y hacer una, un, un aprendizaje nuevo. To do a new um, a learning. A través de una enseñanza que, que redirecciona nuestras vidas. Through a teaching. Uh, that redirect our lives. Eh, y los invitamos realmente a las personas que están acompañándonos. And we really invite all the people that eh, are um, with us today a tomar decisiones que nos permitan re, redireccionar nuestra, nuestras vidas y nuestro camino de fe y take, confianza. To take decisions that allow us to re, redirect our way in faith and confident. Y estamos aquí abiertos también para, para recibir eh, sus, sus dudas con Micael, con él aquí como, sos, como nuestro sostén y nuestra guía. And we are here uh, to receive your doubts uh, with Michael, um, to recibir sus dudas. Sí, recibir la, la, sus preguntas con Mikael para poder, okay. eh, si, si desean conocer sobre la universidad también. Receive your doubts and your, your questions about the university. 
here with Michael. Sí, son bienvenidos. You are Gracias. all you all are welcome. Thank you. Gracias, Michael. Right. Thank you, Michael. So imagine in the first century, during those times in the Jerusalem area, where if people came and they were learning and becoming healed, but then they never brought anyone else around, never furthered to extend the gospel that was given then. So I come again. And I tell you, you are amongst similar to those early disciples. And I invite you to learn correctly the new meanings and the advancing gospel, the understanding of what was said then, but now. Adonai, everyone, enjoy your Sunday. Adonai, Michael. And I, Michael, thank you very much. I love you so much. Adonai, Michael. Adonai, Michael, thank you. Hermoso. Thank you. Gracias, gracias, gracias. Adonai. Gracias, gracias. Gracias, gracias. Gracias, gracias. Gracias, gracias. Gracias, gracias. Gracias